In the Muslim religion, do you believe that oil, black gold, has corrupted the religion? In Islam, there is no problem for you to have desire on wealth, on woman. So a comment that someone made to me about, and it was he was Malaysian, that he says, oh, the problem with Malaysia is that you know, the women might cover their, they might wear their hijab, but then they're showing their behind, they're showing it. They're not, it's not like some of the other, like Iran, where when she wears it, it's so big, you cannot see the shape of her body. That is one of the prophecies uh, of the Prophet Muhammad, is the point in where he said, there will come of time, before the end of time, before the day, the end of the day of judgment, where women will be dressed up, but they are naked. Now think about this. Okay, I'm thinking. We we'll won't be dressed up and be naked. In other words, what? We see them as naked? No. They dress up, like you say, but they wear very tight. Or, you see, they dress up, but it's transparent. Well, that's a lot of the Western world. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Now, that is what the Prophet Muhammad said 1,400 years ago. He said, before the day of judgment come, okay? This is in the Quran? This was what the Prophet Muhammad said. Women are dressed, are dressed, are clothed, but they are naked. Is the collapse of the morality. There's a lot of prophecy that he say, like for example, he did say that on the before the day of judgment, okay, those people who are not wearing sandal, referring to the Arab, the desert people, they will compete among themselves to build four buildings. Now, this thing cannot be imagined even less than 50 years ago. You cannot imagine this 50 years ago. Because you're talking about 1,400 years ago, where it's just a barren land, barren desert. And now, amongst almost of the tall building in the world, is that. And one more, one more prophecy of the Prophet Muhammad, which is amazing. 1,400 years ago, when he had no food to eat, and all the companions are struggling, they're hungry. And he said, okay, the thing that I'm afraid the most for my people, for my followers, are wealth. So the people are hungry, but he's afraid. Of... But he say he's telling that just, just imagine you have a group of friends of yours uh -huh. who have no money to buy food, that you are starvation. But then you're telling them the thing that I'm afraid the most for my people is wealth. This is the prophecy that the black gold will be found in the Arab. Oh. It, in the Muslim religion, do you believe that oil, black gold, has corrupted the religion? No. It's not the black hole, it's not the knife, it's not the pistol, no. It is the human nature. What's the desire? The desire. It's okay to have desire, but how do you control that? Doesn't every religion teach this? In Islam, there is no problem for you to have desire on wealth, on woman, on property, on uh, anything in life. As long, as long it didn't corrupt you, you didn't do anything which is contradicting to the command of God. Wow. You can have it. You want to be rich? No problem. Be rich. But the prophet say, the best wealth are those are being given to the righteous people. Some people, when they have wealth, they no longer go to mosque, they no longer be grateful to God. You see, the, the words uh, gratitude and grat grateful is a word that a lot of people use. Even in psychology today, they say to overcome depression, yeah, yeah. Be grateful. They say, be grateful. Number one is be grateful. Yeah, yeah. When I look into that, I was like, hey, this is what the Prophet Muhammad has said. That just be grateful. Uh, you know, we don't want to worship our own desire. That's why in the Quran, which is interesting, God says, chapter 45, verse 23, He says that, don't you see those who take their own whims and desire as their own gods? Meaning, now, gods is something that you worship and you follow, right? Now, when you take your own whims and desire as gods, meaning you follow your desire, you follow your gods. Well, yeah, the God, God is whatever you end up worshiping. Yes. So if you worship the wealth, that becomes your God. Yes. You follow it, you worship it. But in Islam, those things should not corrupt you. It's okay to have it that can benefit you in this world and the hereafter.